I, I have a theory I want to run it by you and, and see if you agree. So after you guys got swept the four games in Boston, I almost got the sense that on the team there might have been a little bit of a complacency. Okay, we're going to make the playoffs as a wild card. We're not going to catch Boston, but we still have a chance to beat them if we win the wild card. Let's just get right. Let's just get ourselves right and ready for the playoffs. Do you sense any of that? No, I sense right now we understand that, hey, we need to start playing uh, up better. We need to get our guys rolling in the right direction, right? Um, because, again, you want to be playing your best as you go into the playoffs. And the reality of the situation is right now with where we're at, it looks like we're going to be playing a one-game play-in essentially to to uh, to make that happen. And our, our next goal is to hopefully make that a home game. But, it, you know, it's in a lot of ways going to come down to that. And hopefully as we move into that the playoff situation, we're playing our best baseball. Hopefully we're as healthy potentially as, as we'll be at any time of the year. And we feel like in that kind of scenario, we're as, we're as dangerous and as good as anyone that we're going to go up against. And, and, and I'll take our chances. Have you allowed yourself... Aaron, to think about who would be pitching in that game? Um, we, I, I would say we've started to kind of think about it a little bit, or at least, you know, I've started to kind of envision who might be in that game. I think I think you can draw conclusions about who, who the few guys potentially could be in that situation, you know, who might be bullpen options from the starters as well in, in a game like that. So, um, I guess in a way we should think about that, but we also want to finish strong here. And then if we're in a position to kind of juggle our, our staff exactly how we want in those final days, that'll be something we consider. But I would say we're still 10 days, two weeks out from even really thinking about who would be that guy. Hey, Aaron, it's your favorite member of the show, Peter. Um, <laughs> A few, there's been a lot of chatter about the team in general during this time without Aaron uh, Judge, that is, about a spark, an intensity, um, a fire. And uh, a couple of weeks ago, I certainly got pumped up when I saw you really light that umpire up. Did you sense that the team took anything from that and got a little bit of an extra emotional boost when they saw you sort of go to that place? I, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I think... Because we ended up, I think we were actually might have been even getting no hit in that game, and we go out in the next inning and, and break out. So, of course, that's the, you know, the the correlation. But I think sometimes we we overreact to those kind of things. Um, look, we're really good, and when we're right, we're really good. And so I, I don't want us getting caught up in the emotions of every day. I want us to be really good. I want us to be really prepared going into the a game so that the emotional swings of a season, certainly of a playoff scenario, don't necessarily affect us too profoundly. I want us to be locked in on what our job is and how we're going to do it. And I think when we can do that, we'll be at our best. So I'm with the Yankee manager, Aaron Boone, here on the Michael K. Show. Now, to piggyback on Peter's question, Aaron, y Yankee fans seem, and we, we end up every game or every show defending you, well, he's not fiery. That, that's why they're not fiery. He's not ripping them. I mean, it seems like fans want a pound of flesh. Can you ever even envision yourself doing that? And do you think that that has any validity to it all? Um, who's to say I haven't? Or who's to say we haven't? Or who's to say, you know, I mean, we do things behind the scenes all the time that, um, you know, are maybe address those certain concerns. Um, look, at the end of the day, I'm, I think I'm fairly intense behind the scenes, but I hope there's a there's a laid-back way that I go about things. And at the end of the day, I want to be authentic and emotionally consistent almost every single day, right? I mean, obviously, there's going to be things that come up that you have to address in a stern way or or in a, in a way that's uncomfortable. But hopefully, my players see every single day when they walk in there, they know in, in that office, in that chair, somebody that's consistent, and they know who I am and what I'm about. 
And, and I, I always say when, when, when we talk about this on the air, I mean, that's one of the reasons you got the job because of that emotional consistency where they don't want you to be too high. They don't want you to be too low. They want you to be who you are. But it seems like fans want you to rip players publicly. And I just don't think that in this day and age in sports that that's going to work. Do you? Look, I, I think every, every individual is a little bit different. And I think it's upon us and coaches, manager, leadership roles to try and tap into every individual. Now, obviously, you've got to have a standard and, and, and a way you know, an overall team um, comes and, and standard and rule set and all that. But there's also, I think it's very important for us to be able to tap into what makes individuals tick. How do we get the best out of each guy? And I think that's up upon us to kind of understand and be able to kind of mold our message um, sometimes for individuals. You know, the old saying, if some guys need a pound on the butt, sometimes, some guys need a kick in the butt. You know, that I think I think is something that as, as a manager, you know, I've got to be able to tap into to try and get the most out of our players. Does it ever happen consciously or subconsciously, Aaron, where I need to do it differently than Joe did it last year when that information is available to you? No, mm -hmm. no. I, I, I've, you know, when I, when I came to this or, you know, decided to, um, you know, take this, take this on or, you know, d throw my hat in the ring, if you will, the only thing I ever want to be in this job, in any job I have or in life, is, is authentic. You know, you can't, you know, I think players especially will smell a fraud and smell when you're not authentic. And for some guys, you know, some guys are more fiery or, or some guys are more laid back. Or some, I think it's important that you're authentic in your job, and I try to be that every single day.